Here we have 5.5 solving a rational equation that simplifies to linear like binomial denominators. So if we do the same steps we were doing for monomial denominators, we get that the LCD equals the common factors times the distinct factors. And so denominator one is W minus two. Denominator two is just a one. Denominator three is a W minus two. And so then the LCD is the W minus two they have in common. So that's spoken for. And then the one that's just sitting there. So if I multiply that, I end up with W minus two as the LCD. So I'm going to take the first fraction and multiply it by W minus two over one. The second fraction times W minus two over one and the third fraction times w minus two over one. So here the w minus twos cancel, here nothing cancels, here the w minus twos cancel. I'm left with w over one, which is w. I'm left with minus six times that entire numerator. So minus six times this whole numerator, and then just a two. And the only thing left in the denominators are ones, so I don't need to write those denominators. Where do I go from here? I have to distribute this negative six. So w minus six w plus 12 equal to two. Combine my like terms, negative five w plus 12 equal to two. Minus 12 on both sides. We get negative five w equals negative 10. Divide by negative five on both sides and we get w equals positive two. Now remember, this is a potential solution. I have to make sure that this is not going to make any of my denominators zero. However, if I plug it into this denominator, the first denominator, I get two minus two, which is zero. So although I did everything correct, w does not equal two. And since this was the only potential answer that I found, and it doesn't work, then what I type in the box, my response should be no solution. So this one does not have an answer. This side of the equation will never, ever, ever equal that side of the equation. Let's try another one. So again, the LCD is going to be the factors they have in common and the factors that they have different. So I see the factors they have in common are V plus two, and there's really nothing different. This one doesn't have a denominator. If you think of it as a one, it doesn't matter. The LCD will still be V plus two. So we're gonna take each fraction and multiply it by V plus two over one. So then here the V plus twos cancel, here the V plus twos cancel. I'm left with seven V times three V plus eight times this entire numerator V plus two. Since all that's left in the denominators are ones, we don't need to write this as a fraction. So we end up with seven V plus or equal to positive three V, and then I'm gonna distribute this positive eight. So it becomes positive V and positive 16. I can combine my like terms, I get 11 V. And then I can subtract 11 V from both sides. And then I get that negative four V equals 16. I divide by negative four and I get that V equals negative four. So make sure that this doesn't make any of your denominators zero. If negative four plus two is not zero, again, negative four plus two is not zero, and this denominator is not zero. So this potential solution becomes the actual solution.